What is going on everybody? Welcome back to Nintendo Land. I wanted to have kind of just like a casual talk with you guys today. You know, just kind of like a casual one, like zero edits. There'll probably still be edits. But yeah, just kind of chatting with you about the future of Nintendo and what's going to happen here. Um, I am working very hard on a huge video, the next What If, and I know you guys have been begging for it, so just wait a little while longer. It's coming together quite nicely. But we need to talk about what the heck is going on with Nintendo and what is their next plan. Well, a lot of people have been clamoring for this April Nintendo Direct, and I've been saying for a while now, that just doesn't sound right. And of course, we are now approaching the second slash third week of April, and there's not a lot going on. There's no leaks, there's no rumors, there's nothing. I'm gonna try to hopefully predict when Nintendo is gonna start giving us some information. But before we get started, Thank you guys so much for tuning in. You guys have just, once again, been killing it lately with subscriptions. This week has been massive, almost over 200 subscribers each day. A lot of you watching are not yet subscribed. We are trying to reach 300,000 subscribers, so stop what you're doing, leave a like and subscribe. But let's get into the video. So what the heck is going on with Nintendo in the year of 2024? Well, honestly, I can't even tell you because Nintendo has been incredibly, insanely, unbelievably quiet. I mean, they haven't given us really anything to go off of. Any type of announcements of an announcement, any type of actual announcements, any type of presentations. It's been really quiet from the big end. So what normally happens to get us hyped throughout the year? Well, Nintendo normally jumps in at the very beginning of the year, giving us a pretty hefty Nintendo Direct, giving us tons of announcements and games to look forward to in the coming months and obviously towards the end of the year and sometimes even for the future, like the next couple of years. Nintendo has done that before. Um, but the question is, why didn't Nintendo do that this year? Was there anything holding them back? What was the reason for this? And a lot of people started to believe well it's because they don't have a lot left for the switch and that they want to get ready to announce this new console and all the rumors were suggesting so everybody was coming together and saying that yes for sure in the month of march we would have some type of switch reveal it's going to be massive it's going to be huge and the console would release this holiday and then boom we got hit with apparently nintendo's had some type of internal delay and it's definitely been evident that something went wrong at the last second with nintendo because we haven't gotten anything since then. In fact, the only thing that we've gotten so far in the month of February uh, was some type of partner showcase, which actually was pretty decent, but it was all third-party games that really didn't give us anything big to look forward to first-party-wise. I mean, you could count Endless Oceans Luminous um, as kind of first-party, second-party situation, uh, but yeah, we really haven't gotten any big first-party announcements at all this year, and we're already approaching halfway through April. In fact, the biggest announcement that we've gotten this entire year year was the announcement that there is going to be some sort of sequel to the Super Mario Brothers movie. So yeah, the announcement wasn't even game related. So it's kind of crazy that we haven't gotten a single game related announcement from Nintendo and we're approaching May. Please PRO save us. But I was starting to pick up real quick what Nintendo was trying to do. They did not have a presentation planned. In fact, it looked like they were just going to go into March and have a big Switch 2 reveal and maybe even some games for that console. And clearly, since there was a delay, they have nothing to reveal right now. So they're just kind of sitting on with the remainder of what they have left this year, and that's about it. And a lot of people out there was apparently saying that they've been hearing rumors and leaks of an April Nintendo Direct, and it just didn't make sense to me. I never was really for an April Nintendo Direct, because if Nintendo would have an April Direct, why did they wait so long? Why not just have one in February or March and we're now so close to June why not just wait until June and just have like a big switch to reveal there then if there is a delay now those same opposed leakers that said there's gonna be a Nintendo Direct is now claiming oh th there's not gonna be I'm like yeah of course there's not gonna be it doesn't make any sense to have a Nintendo Direct in April right now yes Nintendo still has games coming out I mean it's not like they're just completely dry we got Paper Mario the thousand year door coming next month and it's one of uh, the biggest games for a lot of people out there we still have endless oceans next month as well Oh, and we also have Luigi's Mansion 2 in the month of June. So there is stuff, not really that much new. It's all like remakes, remasters, ports, stuff like that. But yeah, it, there's still stuff coming. You know, it's not completely dry. So Nintendo can still ride those out at least until June. I know they can. So Nintendo's not having a Direct in April, and maybe not even one in May. But here's the catch, okay? Nintendo has an investors meeting in May. They have to reveal or talk about something before then. And a lot of people out there, a lot of the leakers or self-proclaimed leakers, 
claim that Nintendo has to at least acknowledge the existence of the Switch 2 before then, because right now they have nothing for their investors. You also have to think about their partners. They have a lot of partner companies that are making games right now for Switch 2, and they could be completely blindsided by this delay. And this delay could really mess up the launch of their games, so Nintendo has to at least announce these things, get something out, talk about this console, because right now, put yourself in the position of a partner with Nintendo. You have a big game that you want to be revealed and talked about and played on this brand new Switch 2 console, and you made it specifically for this console, you got your dev kit and everything, and it's ready to go this holiday, but Nintendo hits you with a, hey, the console needs a delay, and we're not going to be able to release it until the beginning of next year. They're going to be like, okay, that's going to hurt us a lot. So how about we at least just announce this thing? Because right now, a lot of people might be looking towards these specific organizations, these specific developers, and like, where's this game coming that you guys have been talking about? And they're like, we can't reveal it because Nintendo won't reveal this new console. Let's jump back into shareholders real quick because Nintendo stocks right now are plummeting pretty downward. <laughs> I mean, as of February 15th, it was at a very high $14.94, um, which is actually insane because I think this is right around the time that we started to hear concrete rumors of like them saying yes for sure we're gonna get some type of big switch 2 presentation um, in March and everybody was like preparing for this getting ready and I think the day after this it was just then you know brought up that Nintendo is in fact going to delay the switch 2 and it just plummeted. <laughs> it's crazy how quickly it plummeted it went from 1494 to 1248 right now which is pretty low it's still good like it's definitely not in like a dangerously low margin uh but it's still low and as you can tell this is definitely from the rumors and stuff suggesting that switch 2 is not coming this year and that there's really nothing this year and i know this makes it hard for nintendo how in the world can you even combat this you haven't announced anything you haven't said anything so how can people get mad at you and not invest in your company because of rumors that a switch 2 got delayed when we don't even know what the Switch 2 is right now. I can't blame the people that are supposedly leaking this information or making these rumors because at the end of the day, Nintendo needs to talk about something. I mean, if you still haven't even given us a code name or a confirmation that a new console was coming or some type of confirmation that a trailer would be coming soon, some type of, you know, Nintendo Direct for current Switch or something, you know, I would understand it'd be completely different, but there's just been... There's been nothing. So I'm even thinking about before the end of May, maybe Nintendo will at least just acknowledge the existence of a new console coming, or at least just give us the name of the thing, something, anything at all would be great. Um, but yeah, Nintendo has to reveal something soon. I mean, they're sitting on just older games right now, no new announcements, no big games coming in the near future, no Switch 2 announcements, nothing. This has been a pretty dull year so far, but Nintendo can definitely pick it up in the second half of 2024. It could be a completely different story. We just have to be a little bit more patient and I know a lot of people out there are like just be patient Nintendo's gonna do something I get the patience thing okay I get it but if you go six months in this year with not a single direct or a single reveal of a new console or anything at all that is very weird. I mean, at, th at that point, patience doesn't even matter anymore. But I'm not here to fear monger and make you worry and like, oh, all doom, all gloom, it's all bad. And I'm not also here to hype you up and say, oh, don't worry, big things are coming soon. It's about to go crazy because I don't know what's going on anymore. So I'm just going to tell you this. Definitely, Nintendo has to talk about something. You know, whether it is a general direct for the current Switch, maybe it is some just shadow drops of new games on Twitter, or maybe it is a big presentation announcement for the next console. Whatever it is, Nintendo is kind of running out of time. They have to reveal something. Investors are wanting something. Their partners are gonna want their games revealed soon. Nintendo has to acknowledge this new console, or it's gonna be really bad out. Let me know in the comments below what you think about all of this. Do you think we're gonna get a direct or a presentation soon, or is Nintendo just gonna do nothing and we're just going to go through pretty much 2020 all over again? <laughs> Let me know in the comments below. But make sure you leave a like and subscribe before you head out, and I'll see you all on the next one. See you guys.